So, today is Trans Day of Visibility. And in the wake of everything that has happened this week, I couldn't just let this day pass without actually putting something out. There have been a lot of attacks against trans people, both legislatively and physically. The level of propaganda perpetrated by the U.S. and Western media has been unreal. That being said, though, there have been marches, there have been, you know, many people standing up in defense of trans people, and there's even now been a temporary restraining order placed upon one of the biggest laws that has been passed in the country. And that, of course, is the Tennessee drag ban. But let's just call it for what it is. It's the trans ban. That law, which basically states that, you know, people who are presenting as male or presenting as female that are very obviously not assigned those genders at birth, that law essentially criminalizes that in public. So a person like me who's dressing in my flowy dresses and everything would not be able to walk down the streets of downtown Nashville because it would be considered illegal. But that law has at least been temporarily been it's been temporarily blocked and so there will be a, a court battle over that. Um, so that's at least some form of good news. There has been marches in even places like frickin', um, I believe Florence, Alabama, uh, of all places. Um, there's people that have been protesting and have been, um, testifying in trans people's behalf in Texas, in Nebraska, Missouri, Kentucky. So... I'm not saying that these laws aren't going to go into effect. In fact, in Texas and possibly even Florida, they most likely will. But they will probably face opposition in court. And, you know, we'll just see how that plays out. Um, but I thought I would come on here and at least talk about the recent events... Um, particularly one of the things that I wanted to talk about, and I'll probably talk more in depth with this with my fellow comrades in the coming days and possibly even week or so. Um, and that is that I must say this about the so-called Communist Party of Britain, who made a statement concerning the gender recognition bill that was passed in Scotland, which, by the way, recognizes transgender people as, well, being valid and that they have a legal right to the same rights as anybody else. No shit. And the Communist Party of Britain literally stated that they oppose that. That that they do not view uh, trans people or the whole idea of gender equality or gender identity as being as being revolutionary. They they don't consider trans people essentially to be human. 
So essentially, the Communist Party of Britain has outed themselves as being trans-exclusionary, reactionary fascists. Turfs. Go figure. But this also underlines an even bigger thing, an even bigger problem. And that is, the Communist Party of Britain is just that. It is the it is a political party. They're not definitely not communist, and they have not been communist for some time. They've been a bunch of re revisionist suck dems for some time. But I mean that's also obvious considering that, you know, they cozy up to the um, you know, Communist Party of the Russian Federation, which is basically, a, you know, a collection of Nazbols and pro-Putinists. Um, <laughs> but um, the CPB is, for, first and foremost, a British political party. And by British, I mean unionist. They opposed the Scottish referendum for independence. They oppose any form of independence of Scotland, Wales, the reunification of Ireland, etc., and they always will. Because the CPB, at the end of the day, while they want to play off this rhetoric of, you know, being anti-imperialist, that doesn't matter when it concerns British imperialism. They'll completely forgive that. They'll completely forget the, you know, the whole subjugation of the Celtic League. They'll completely forget the oppression that the British Empire placed on the Scots and on the Irish. They'll completely ignore all that while calling out everybody else's imperialist actions. So, hypocritical much? So, why is it no surprise that the same... English, you know, supremacist ideology that has permeated the CPB doesn't translate over... What? Why is it a, a surprise that they're transphobic? It's, it, it's really just, you know, comparing apples and apples at that point. Don't let it fool you. The CPB is not communist, and they have not been pretty much for the last, I'd say, 40 years. <laughs> they have continuously gone down a revisionist path that has not, that has not come into the modern age, that has not modernized its views, that has not come into the contemporary period of Marxism-Leninism. One of the biggest things as Marxists that we're supposed to do is self-critique. And that means that anything that we've done that has, you know, been a wrong in the past say, you know, the criminalization and oppression of LGBT people, we realize in today's modern era, that's not, that's not right, and we want to right that wrong. We have to crit criticize the actions and the motives of the past and right those wrongs in our contemporary period. Because Marxism... Marxism, Leninism, MLM, whatever you want to call it, it is a science. It is a philosophy, a political science. And like all sciences, they adapt, they evolve, they change with new facts, new information, etc. That is why a lot of MLs and a lot of ML parties are starting to modernize that and realize, hey, we do have to live by Lenin's example of uniting all the proletariat, not just selectively. 
trans people and LGBT people as a whole can be revolutionary. They do need sometimes a little bit more of a push, but they are an oppressed minority. In fact, not trying to blow smoke up anybody's ass, but trans people, if not more so, are an even more oppressed minority and have even more of a reason to be revolutionized and radicalized and brought into the fold of Marxism. So, the actions, the statements made by the CPB should be condemned by all MLs as reactionary, as revisionist, as fascist. And we should condemn them and call them out for it and expose them for what they really are. They are now Nazbols. A party that literally cozies up to a Nazbol party in Russia and has continuously pushed a British Unionist agenda while simultaneously calling out the imperialism of other people and now basically um, outing themselves as transphobes. Not only just outing themselves as transphobes, but also have been retweeted by the likes of ilk of J.K. Rowling and Graham Linehan. People that have been notoriously transphobic and have pushed a transphobic and misogynistic and frankly misinformation campaign against trans people and against LGBT people. But I find it very funny that what that out of all of this, not only did J.K. Rowling retweet that, but she also tweeted something by Frederick Engels. So, of course, you know, the Pat Sock crowd is latching on to this, and, you know, there there's a whole video that I could go into about that. But as I said, I'm going to keep this brief, because there are certain things that I will probably be talking about in a live or future video um, with some fellow comrades, I'm actually um, uh, right now coordinating with uh, Comrade Net and a few other people um, to try and get that situated. Um, so keep looking forward to that. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just going to leave it at that. We should call out these people for what they truly are. The last thing I will leave you is with something that I basically stated in my last video. The, the light of the recent events is a reason why trans people should be armed and why we should be studying Marxist philosophy and why we should continue to radicalize. Because the recent events are only going to get worse. Yeah, there'll be some court battles but there will still be attacks made against trans people. And we have to be ready by any means necessary and for any means necessary that come our way. We must stand and fight and not cower and just give up our guns, therefore allow enabling and allowing the fascists to just eradicate us further. No. We are not. We we should not die as cowards and oppressed people on our knees or in the chambers. We should be fighting, and even if that means we die martyrs for the cause, at least you know we die fighting and not in chains. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. And <laughs>